This is from D. D is asking, I've read a recent article that said Catholicism is declining in Latin America, but evangelism, evangelicism is growing. Which do you think poses the greater harm? And this was an interesting question to me. I hadn't really considered between these kind of different branches and styles of Christianity, which is more harmful. So part of the reason I speculate that the Catholic Church is declining in Latin America is the sheer volume of abuse that the Catholic Church has engaged in across Latin and South America is insane. And they can't cover it up anymore. Like the situation in Chile in particular is horrendous. Um, and I think this has caused a lot of people to be very disenchanted with the catholic church at large as it hasn't been across the globe but i think it's like latin south and latin america like has a particular history with the catholic church that still remains a very important part of the culture to this day um and so the relationship is kind of different than what i see in other communities um and so i was thinking about this and i was thinking that maybe Latin, I think evangelicism might be worse because Catholicism is one specific institution. So you can, there's structure to this institution and you can have very structured arguments against it. Um, it's kind of like the difference between Islam and Hinduism. It, like, stay with me here. <laughs> because, um, like, but evangelicism, it can be more shape-shifting. It isn't as rigid. So the, so when you attack one thing, you could say, oh, well, that applied to that congregation. Or, oh, that applied to that pastor, but not in this area. So I kind of think of it similarly because Islam is obviously very strict, very rigid. There's very specific structures that you tie your ideas to. Whereas Hinduism, it's like, oh, no, it's this. No, it's not. No, it's this. No, it's not. Oh, no, but it's this to this person, but not to that person. So it, it can shape shift. And I think the shape shifting ability of it, adaptive ability of it is more harmful. Evangelicism also really lends itself to cults of personalities on a whole different level. Um, and I think that's dangerous, too. Okay, I was thinking about this. I think... Um, evangelicalism might be more dangerous because of, oh, you have my logo. You have to change that. <laughs> um, because of their, inf their goals when it comes to foreign policy and their influence on foreign policy is different from the Catholic, like, so the Catholic Church is oh, harmful. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Like they're they're trying to bring the end of times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, as much as we are against the Catholic Church when it comes to their influence on politics, they're mostly harmless. They're like, oh yeah, global warming is a thing. You know, we need to care, take care of the planet uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Their harm is mostly like to w the main harm is like it's a it's an organization that protects um, people who harass children. Right. And that seems to be its main purpose. And everything else is just the dressing. You know, <laughs> it, 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 it's <laughs> it's just the Jesus stuff is a side thing. Um, and also this whole activism that they do even if it's not harmful as much it's just a side thing to just cover their brand but when it comes to evangelicals their influence on the politics in whatever country they manage to eventually dominate is so destructive to the entire planet um, both from a global warming perspective and promotion of war perspective and now evangelical evangelical ideology has now mutated to QAnon ideology as well. So, you know, whatever, I, you know, you can see, and it, it has the ability, it's a, it's a lot more f flexible, like you said, than the Catholic ideology for it to be able to t turn into things, to destructive things that it needs to, to have the political influence that it 
you know so if it spreads in a country um the 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 way it could influence politics and the fact that the politicians need to submit to it if they want to remain in power makes the politics of that country so dangerous that affects countries outside of the countries that the the ideology is dominating it's a that's in that way it's a very destructive fo force does that make sense yes yes um i saw the funniest comment from <laughs> oxymoron saying why is susanna thinking like me drawing random parallels <laughs> um, <laughs> and also this is a good point the quote-unquote way of life hindus have hinduism which is shape-shifting and you also have traditional sects that are very very organized structure this is true the, the like idea of hinduism as a singular thing is actually an idea that's antithetical to hinduism itself this is a western understanding of an indic like ethno religious ethno religious society at the time so but the the whole way of life thing is what's most marketed to people in the quote unquote west and also like it's used i think politically a lot like specifically to be protective of hinduism like it's not a religion it's a way of life there was an atheist who successfully got his hinduism marker removed from his um his government documents because he said well if it's not a way of if it's a way of life then like don't put it on my like that was his whole <laughs> argument i can't remember exactly what it was but i thought it was so clever um Bobo is saying, fun fact, evangelicals started organizing politically at first to preserve segregation in their institutions. Then they moved to abortion. Yep, that's Crazy one shit. of many things. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.